Hey guys, so in today's video, I thought I would give you guys an update of how it's going in the sleep center. Um, in just a few short days, it will be a month that I have been working up there and that is really hard for me to believe that it's already been that long. Um, so just so that you guys are aware, I am still, as of the day that I'm recording this, I am still only part-time up in the sleep center and still part-time working at the one outlying clinic. I am hoping that this coming week and the week after are my last weeks doing that. Um, my immediate supervisor, so there's two supervisors in the sleep center. Um, well, technically there's three, but there's two immediate supervisors in the sleep center and one of them has been out all week and um, that's because of hunting or whatever. So <clears throat> the immediate supervisor that is there had a meeting with the clinic director um, who is in charge of like the nurses and all of that at the clinics. Um, they had a meeting to talk about my schedule and I, I'm hoping that he went to bat for me to stop me from having to work in the outlying clinic because I feel like it's starting to hinder my progress working in the sleep center, but I just kind of want to give you guys an overview of how things have been going so far. I know I haven't really been vlogging that much of my experiences, just because it's been honestly hard for me to adjust to this back and forth schedule. So what I mean by that is on the days that I work in the sleep center, I work from 7 a.m. to 3.30, although on the days when we have providers there, which would be what we call our clinic days, um, which we call them that because that's when patients can come and actually see the provider to talk about um, their sleep problems or their pulmonology problems because our sleep doctors are also um, specialized in pulmonology. So they see both types of patients, but they would be the ones who order all of our sleep studies and um, testing that has to do with sleep. So um, on those days, I have been getting off work a little bit later than 3.30, so there were a couple of days where I didn't get home or didn't get off work until almost 4.30, which is fine, but um, <clears throat> it's still been really hard for me to adjust to this new schedule because like, so on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays is when I'm working in sleep, and that is like 7 to 3 30 or 7 to whenever we are done seeing patients up in the clinic and then when i go back to the outline clinic my schedule is 8 to 4 30 or 8 to 4 whenever the provider leaves i'm allowed to leave as long as there's nothing else to really be done so i usually end up leaving right around four o'clock um it's just very hard for me to adjust i've been very exhausted like there have been multiple days that I have come home from work and just kind of wanted to pass out on the bed, like take a nap and sleep. And it's been really hard for me to um, really function how I would like to just because of the back and forth schedule. I have absolutely loved being up in the sleep center so far. Um, I've been learning quite a bit. There's quite a bit of information that I need to learn. Um, still but i have learned quite a bit of information and i'm looking forward to this week because um <clears throat> the one supervisor that had that meeting he is going to spend some time with me this week um, teaching me about lead placement on the head for um, psgs which is the in-lab sleep study i have already done training on the home sleep tests which is the watch pad device that i showed you guys in a previous video um, <clears throat> And that is, you know, obviously a, um, a sleep study that someone can do in their own home. And that is helpful for people. Um, if you guys want more information about that, I can definitely make some more videos about that or just kind of answering your questions about sleep medicine in general um, or the life of a sleep tech because that is what I am working as now. Um, even though I'm still a medical assistant as a call-in, and I will remain so even when I'm not going to the outline clinic anymore. Um, my main job is as a sleep tech, so I'm not certified currently, but I will soon be going to Memphis 
to go through that whole certification process. We just aren't exactly sure when because I'm still working in the outline clinics, so I've been unable to do any sort of training on night shift yet. Um, <clears throat> so what I want to say is I have done a lot of learning. I have like I said, I've really enjoyed the process of training so far. It's been a lot of office stuff, I will tell you, because like the last whole week the, with the main supervisor being out of the office, I've been working and training with our office coordinator. So I've been doing a lot of like prior authorizations and going through that whole process, scheduling um, CPAP titrations and PSGs, which is a polysomnography which is what an actual sleep study is called. That's the actual name for a sleep study. So if you hear me say PSG or polysomnography, um, that is the actual name of a sleep study, just in case you're curious or confused. I know there's a lot of like information that can be kind of confusing when you're dealing with this whole realm of things, um, especially if it's stuff that you're unfamiliar with, but this week we're gonna spend some time going over the lead placements because we do have a DME rep that comes in. DME is durable medical equipment for those of you who aren't um, aware. She comes in every week and so we do have dummy like mannequin heads in our office that showcase the different types of like masks for CPAP. Um, and I think we're gonna spend some time this week also talking about the differences and kind of the settings and everything for CPAPs, um, bi-levels, and ASVs. And like I said, if you guys have questions about that kind of stuff, I can definitely make more videos. This is my career now, um, so I can definitely share more information as I become more knowledgeable. Obviously, I am at like the very entry level um, place right now, but as I become more knowledgeable, I would love to share my knowledge with you guys. And like I said, I will be sharing my entire experience with you. It just amazes me that I am already like a month into this whole journey of sleep tech land. Um, and I've really been loving it. It's been an adjustment. It's definitely different, like not having to wear scrubs to work every day. Not that there was anything wrong with wearing scrubs, but sometimes obviously when the weather's colder, I would get chilled much easier. And it's been kind of nice being able to wear some of my actual clothes instead of just scrubs because um, my supervisor, even though the sleep techs are supposed to be wearing scrubs, during the day shift, he told me like, if you are working day shift, you are more than welcome to wear business casual just because there is much less patient interaction unless there's an actual study. And in the almost four weeks that I've been up there now, um, there have been no daytime studies scheduled. It's all been either home sleep tests where the patient comes into the office, you give them the demo, you tell them how to put it on their hand, you give them the instruction, you give them the paperwork, make them sign their consent, and then they're on their way. Um, <clears throat> or it's been like an actigraphy study, we've only done one of those, and that is kind of similar to the watch pad, as in it is a watch. Um, but there are a few different requirements, and if you guys are curious about that, I can also talk about that. Um, I don't know, I'm just very excited about the trajectory of this career and where I can see myself going with this. And I just hope that I continue to enjoy this learning process because this is definitely going to be a learning process for me, and um, I'm really looking forward to it. So anyways, here's to almost a month already in the sleep center. Like I said, I'm super excited. If you guys have any questions, I would love to film either a Q&A or just a whole dedicated video answering your questions, depending on which might be easier. And yeah, let me know. Like I said, if you have any questions or any specific topics you would like me to discuss on my channel in the future, you know I would love to do so. And with that being said, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time.